Once Upon a Time. In 1812, in fact, the Brothers Grimm published the first volume of their children's and household tales, a collection that eventually grew to include 200 stories. Ahead of you is a forest of fairy stories. Every tree in that forest represents one of the German folk tales that the Brothers Grimm collected. It is also a forest of sound. Each tree plays a reading of part of its story. But the forest represents more than that. The higher the ground the tree is on, the more grim it is. By removing the thousand most often used words in English from the most common words in the stories, we have a list of 50 words that sound particularly grim to modern readers. Words like forest, maiden, huntsman, wolf. The highest point of the forest is the story The Two Brothers, a tale that includes kings, princesses, witches, wolves, foxes, magical birds and plucky peasant heroes, and which sits alone on top of a tall bare hill in the middle of the wood. So wondrous a kind that whosoever ate its heart and liver found every morning a piece of gold beneath his pillow. The health of each tree represents its popularity, as suggested by a search of Google Books. The most common stories like Snow White and Cinderella, Rapunzel and Rumpelstiltskin are marked by clouds of fireflies around their trunk. Of course, more intelligent, knowledgeable and patient people have spent time analysing folklore and these stories in particular. The trees are grouped according to folklore tropes, with the type of tree representing the type of story. You won't be surprised that the forest is thick with the oaks of the tales of magic. But what is evident, walking through this forest, is that these aren't separate stories. They are part of a landscape, part of an experience. These are unpredictably strange stories told by ordinary people to help them understand and prepare for the unpredictable strangeness of ordinary life. Which is why, 200 years later, we're still talking about them, reading them and telling them. And the mouth of he who last told this tale is still warm.